Alright, so can you introduce yourself for the Korean fans and how do you feel after making it out of like those miraculous games today? Okay. Hey, I'm Broxler, the jungler for Fnatic, and I'm standing here after an amazing week two for us. I feel really, really happy we, we managed to beat down SKT, which is an insane achievement, and right after that we go in and we also beat RNG, so we've beaten some really, really strong teams today. We made it to quarterfinals, and it feels really surreal. So I think a really big difference for us coming into the day was in terms of mindset. I think in, in week one we played a bit afraid. We, we knew we were going up against some really, really good teams and that it was really important not to drop a game. And we just played a bit too passive, whereas coming into the day we, we didn't have any pressure. We just played, played aggressive and with nothing to lose, with no regrets. And I think that really helped us um, get some really good early games going. We got a big lead both against SKC and RNG and then we just played aggressive, we played well with the lead and we managed to close it out. I think our, our entire approach going into the the second ING game was a little bit different than the first one. In the first one, we we mainly focused on Uzi, like how do we shut down Uzi, how do we deal with him, and we had a bit more of a supportive playstyle with Reckless on Morgana and, and trying to shut him down rather than beat him, whereas this time I feel like our strategy was mostly around actually beating Uzi and then trying to make Reckless be in a position to, to carry and, and take over the game. And I think this approach worked much better. Even in, in the first RNG game, we had a relatively good early game, but we just couldn't really snowball and close out the game. And now with Reckless and on Saya and with some successful gang spots, uh, we just managed to take over the game. And we, we just played with, with confidence, really. And I think that's what really matters. I think for, for, for the first time ever after playing on Team with Reckless for, for almost three years, this was the first time where I saw him cry and rather than getting sad I just started laughing and, and smiling because usually in the past when it would happen it would be for a really really sad reason and a, in a really heartbreaking moment but this time it was, it was you know, happy tears and, and I was just, you know, I, I saw it and I just started laughing and you know it was great to see him cry but actually because something positive happened this time. So now you made it to quarterfinals, congrats. Um, uh, do you feel any pressure um, more than before or anything like that? And, uh, well there's a high chance that you're going to be facing another Korean team. So which Korean team would you like to face? <laughs> So to me it still feels really surreal that we even made it to the quarterfinal in the in the first place after having such a poor week one and everything in week two just panned out perfectly for us and I'm not sure who exactly I would want to face the most. Um, I think my, my eyes if on anyone would be an IG mostly because I would want to get revenge after the after the world final last year and other than that honestly like in general, I don't really care so much about what we go up against. I think we are going to be able to come into, into the quarterfinal with a lot of con confidence. We believe in ourselves after today, and I wouldn't mind playing a Korean team either. I think no matter who we go up against, it's going to be a really, really crazy match. We're going to have to play at our best to, to get out, so I'm just looking forward to a good best of five, really. Well, I would like to thank all the fans out there who have been supporting us, whether you're from Korea, Europe, America, wherever you're from. Um, we've gotten so much support today and we've really been able to feel it both here in the crowd, in the arena, online. Like There has been a lot of fanatics out there supporting us and help give us the last bit of power to make it through to the quarterfinals and it really means the world to me. Thank you so much for all the support.